girl, let me just talk to you about this. These, you, 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 you you're trifling, baby. You, you're trifling. I don't understand why people want to, you know, get inside the retail field or the food field or they want to serve people, but they don't like their job. I am confused on how people that don't like their jobs go to their job every day. See, you're ruining the experience for me when I come inside of your retail store and you're sitting there with the old face because you hate your job. I didn't ask for you to come to work. I didn't ask for you to come inside this job. I didn't ask for you to come in here and sit there looking like some old moat. Did I? And no, I did not. I am a customer service these days is so non-existent that it's just clearly oblivious to how these people are getting jobs. I mean, I don't understand how all these raggedy, nasty, attitudes, trifling, disgusting, make me want to vomit, make me want to holler, people are getting jobs. I don't understand it. I don't understand how you're working in retail, but you don't have an ounce of customer service. You don't even know how to wardrobe. You don't even know how to clientele, but you have a job. How are you working? How are you doing? Who hired you? I don't understand that. I don't like it when I go inside all these little raggedy establishments. Matter of fact, not even raggedy establishments all the time because to be surprisingly, to, to, to surprise me, I have gone inside of some establishments, the raggedy ones, the ghetto ones, and it's like, it's always that one diamond in the rough. And you're like, girl, why are you working here? I mean, I mean you speak well, you have a positive attitude, you're smiling, you should be in Neiman's, you should be in Saks. But then when I go over to Saks, you have these bougie, these stuck up, these fish head, these tired hoes working up in there. They don't want to help you. They don't want to help you pick out a garment. They don't want to help you with an outfit. All they want to do is just sit there and collect that eight ninety five an hour plus commission. They don't want to help you. They got these little nasty enemies. I have to conjure up a smile out of these people. I mean, tell me about your experiences of going inside of these, these tired retail stores, honey. And I mean the good ones, too. I'm talking about Nordstrom, girl. I'm talking about Macy's, honey. Honey, I'm talking about, well, H&M is just a hot mess all together because so nobody will help you in there. But have you ever been to side any of these restaurants or just anywhere and the customer service just seems non-existent? Like, it just makes you just want to go in and just start hollering, throwing cups, just start busting windows just to get some respect. I need to be respected. Tell me all about it. I, I want to know. Just, just break it down to me. But, oh yeah, before I forget... Another thing I want to just mention is a shout out, and I want to give a shout out to some of my fashion friends. Now, I will tell you guys this, that I'm going to be having some fly, some fabulous episodes coming up. Please check out the older videos of Immortal Couture and like the videos, subscribe to the videos. You know, we just came out with Men in Fashion with Renee Sebastian, which I'm wearing right now. Get into this top. Get into this top. Get into the get, get into the, get into this top, and um, it was Gregory Taylor. Ooh, girl, did you just get into that face? Yes. So um, Gregory Taylor was in a part of Men in Fashion, but I'm gonna have another video come out, and it's a tribute to all of my fashion friends because we're finally over five thousand, five thousand, yes, yeah, five thousand income tax check, five thousand subscribers, yes, and we're over one million views, yes. Now we're aiming for 10,000 subscribers. So now, um, I want to give us just a, it's going to be such a fabulous episode, my next release. And, um, it's going to be dedicated just to my fashion friends. And girl, you are going to love it. I am including you guys so much. You guys have sent me emails of your pictures. I've been reading your emails. I know that I have been busy. I have been giving you these episodes. I have not been on here cussing people out. But girl, I am going to clock somebody's tea so soon. You're going to be like, yes, kind yes, kind yes. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to push, um, you got to push, uh, you got to push until you get it right, push, I am going to push it out of me, honey, I'm going to slay somebody, I don't know who it is yet, but it's somebody messy in the city coming up and I will be at their show, but anyway, I want to give a big shout out to One Mocha Delight on Twitter and Whitney D, hey girls, I get all of your retweets, I see all of your mentions, yes, honey, you know, me and Miss Mocha Delight, we go way, we go way back on Twitter, girl, we just be talking and conversing, honey. Yes, girlfriend. I just want to say, you know, keep your head up, girl. I see you. It's going to be all right. We here. 
we're there, okay? And Miss Whitney, Miss Sweet Whitney, yes, I love my Whitney. Thank you so much for all your retweet, retweets and your mentions. Oh my gosh, I love it. I do. And for all the people that keep saying little negative comments under my video saying that I'm on drugs, I'm not on drugs, baby. Uh-uh, baby, 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 I'm not on drugs. I'm not doing nothing. I, 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 I ain't doing nothing, y'all. Come on now. I don't do nothing now. But anyway, so look out for the future episodes that I have coming out. They're going to be so fly. It's going to be like done. But anyway, I have to get out of here. I have some projects to work on. I'm working on my new collection. I'm just really excited about that. The hair is laid. Yes, laid for the gods. Slayed. Yes, laid for the gods. Slayed. But anyway, I gotta get out of here. I have some things to do. But I want to thank you guys. Just keep watching. Check out this video. It was just wasn't nothing important. It was just, just this video was just us talking. I, 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 I mean, you, 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 you talking. I'm talking. You, know, you, talk, you, talk to, you talking to the screen. I'm talking to the camera. I mean, we, we just talking, right? We, we just chilling, right? But I gotta go because um, we're done. We're, we're good. I, I, I got done because y'all just want so much of me. I mean, what do you want from me? Come to the events, girl. See me. Hello, hi. In your face. Scream. Clamor. Let's click, click. But no. <laughs> God, I love me. I gotta go. I, I don't wanna. I don't wanna leave yet. But I gotta go. No. Bye. Oh, Jesus. Mm. I was almost gone. I was almost gone, fashion friends. Let me just tell you. Let me just break the story down to you right now. Okay. So, you know, in these videos right here, this these videos right here, we get into it, okay? We just, we just, we chilling. It ain't about no fashion. It's about my life. Okay. So, Recently, I've been dealing with my SUV, my truck, and I've been going through the rain and through the roof like Tanya Blunt with this truck. So, I had to get my brakes fixed. I had to put some new rotors on. Girl, I was on metal to metal going down the street. You would have it was a train coming down the street, girl. But no, it was me. So, um, I went to the auto zone and went and got my brakes done. I got my rotors done. Now... Mind you, by getting my brakes and my motors done, I went to um, one of the guys out on the street. Before I actually let one of the guys on the street work on my car, I asked um, the sales associates inside of AutoZone who would be best fit to work on this car. So, they was like, oh yeah, let Keith do it, let Keith do it, Keith real good. So, okay, I sat there and I let Keith, you know, fix the brakes and things. So he fixed the brakes, he fixed the rotors, I don't hear any more train noises going down the street. So when I get inside the car or whatever, I notice that I hear a doom, 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 doom like, like a knocking noise. And I'm like, what is this knocking? Like, who is this opportunity? Like, what is, what is the knocking? So anyway, a whole day goes by and it's just doom, 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 doom. Just all this knocking. I don't pay it, okay, I, I pay it mine, but I don't really pay it mine because I have things to do. So I put the knocking on hold. The next day, I had a dentist appointment to get the last bottom to my wisdom teeth pulled. Then I had to pick up my friends because we had to go to this vintage shop because they were having some kind of sale for me, whatever like that. I had to go pick up some items. So me and her, we get into the car and the noise is back. Doom, 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 doom. We're going down the street, girl. You will swear it was a marching band coming down the street. Anna, Anna, doom, 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 Anna, doom, 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 Anna, doom, 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 Anna. I mean, it was just, uh, girl, I was getting marching band tees going down the street. So my friend was like, Emoji, you really need to get this car checked out. Take it back to the auto zone, girl. And I'm like, girl, let's just go ahead and do it right now because this car is getting out of control. So, um,. We're going down the street, all of a sudden, the doom, doom, doom turns into like a, some gunshots, and the car is shaking, and the stern wheel is shaking. Mind you, we're on the highway. We're on the highway, the byway, and cars are going past. There's plenty of cars out there. It's like around 11.30 a.m. Lord, the saints, and God above, do you know what happened on the road? Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My stern wheel gets to shaking like this. All of a sudden, I am not lying to you guys. The wheel of the car, the wheel that pulls that have been planted, God, came off with the car. Come on now. Hey! Hey! Where that wheel go? Somebody go fetch that wheel for me. The wheel came off of the car on the highway. Girl, do you?
you know I was scared for my life. I was giving, I was giving Rihanna with the with the fist with the, with the kiss of Chris Brown teeth, honey. Cake, 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 all in my face. I was gone, Whitney. Oops, too soon. I mean, it was just the wheel of the car came off. We had to like take the car and like just rush it over to the shoulder. The wheel, honey, she done went on her way. She she gone, girl. So I was like, Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. So, girl, mm -mm 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 -mm. we're still on the side of the road. So I call my mother. My mother comes down, distraught, out of her mind, losing control, like Curry Hilson. So we're just sitting there, and we're trying to call a tow person. So we call a tow person. Girl, this is not it. This is not it. I swear I was on Final Destination. I thought I was on the new cast, Final Destination, Final Destination Part 7 with Emoji Couture. So, I'm sitting in the car, and something tells me, Emoji, get out of the car and go wait in your mother's car. And I was like, come on, girl, let's just go get out this car and wait in my mother's car. I get out of the car, me and my friend, and we go wait in my mother's car. What happens next? Girl, somebody was about to get into an accident on the on the highway. They missed the car they were supposed to hit and hit my car. Bam! Part two. Somebody else hit my car. Just tore up the side of my car. Just tore up the side that I was sitting on. I mean, do somebody got roots on me? I mean, is somebody trying to take me out? I mean, what's happening to me? God, come on now. You got an angel put on me. I'm like Tony Braxton. How could an angel break my heart? Somebody had an angel out for me, child. Because I was in my mother's car and somebody came and hit my car. Accident part two. Girl, I was too through with that day. I was just like, you know what? Two accidents and one. So to make that short, you know, the tow person came. They went to go fetch that wheel, girl. You know, um, the, the car was just towed up by then. They had to put the car on top of the little, you know, tow truck thing. Um, he towed the car to my house. We got it fixed. So I went back. I found out where the person that fixed my car lived at. And I went to his house. You know how we do straight up real hood. Oh, you want... <laughs> so, you know, I went to his house and I was like, oh, you're going to fix this car. Because for, do you know I almost lost my life? Like, I was, I, girl, I read him up to the gods. And I, see, when I mean I read him up to the gods, I was not, like, disrespecting him or cussing him out or calling him a fool or an idiot or an absolute dodo bird or just a plebeian or a troglodyte. I wasn't calling him those names. I read him in a positive way so he could fix this car up. So he fixed the car, he fixed the wheels. At this point, I was through. Because if I tell you all that I went through around the neighborhood that I was in, I was in the girl, I was in the pit of the hood. I was in the projects, sitting on the stoop with my friend getting this car fixed at 9.30 at night. Crackheads rolling by, prostitutes rolling by, children just scaring on the lot, just scaring, just, just scaring down the street, just scaring. Not walking, but they were just scaring down the street. Girl, I was just through through with that day. I was like, Lord, I don't know what is going on, but I'm done. I am done. I am through. So after that, now my car's in the shop with Geico. And they're thinking that my car is totaled. I'm a little happy about that because, girl, I need to be with a 2011 expedition. I need to be rolling like a big boy down the street, you know. I am thankful. I am blessed. Thank you. Woo! I am happy that I made it out. But Lord knows all that money I'm putting into this Ford Explorer, I need a new ride.